anyone who has ever seen one of the many public fountains up close and personal cannot help but be fascinated. These exquisitely created waterworks give the impression of being the product of sheer sorcery. From the bright and symbolic architecture to the amazing fountain presentations, across the globe there's a long list of them. There are some of the most interesting, creative, and gorgeous fountains in cities ranging from Stockholm to Sunderland, China to Peru, and everywhere in between. Some rotate, others light up, some of them even seem to be defying gravity. But if there's one thing they all have in common, it's that they'll blow your mind in some way or another. Dubai is also home to some of the world's most iconic water fountains, like the Dubai fountains that can be seen at the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Mall. It is also one of the most popular attractions in Dubai, drawing thousands of people each night. But the Emirate is known for its records and you always want to have the biggest and best there. And if everything in Dubai is about high-rise skyscrapers that shatter records and defy modern architectural design, then the same has to be said for the water fountains, right? At least, that's what they think. And that's why they built the Palm Fountain, which, in their book, is just another extravaganza. The water fountain, after its opening, was officially labeled as the largest and tallest water fountain in the world. The site is located on the artificial island of the Palm Jumeirah. In principle, you can say it's between Atlantis, the Palm Hotel, and the Point Dubai. In between, there's a small lake, and there is also the ideal location for such an attraction as you can imagine. Seeing they nailed the spot, let's talk about the most eye-catching stats and information about the Palm Fountain. In any case, they are rather remarkable in their own right. It's spread over 14,000 square feet of seawater. It's built with 3,000 LED lights that splash several millions of colors onto the overflowing waters and the air around. The fountain features 128 super shooters that can reach heights of up to 105 meters. And seeing the waters soar to heights several meters above the ground as they move in time to the music is an experience that is really one to be treasured. And that same height got it the title of the world's highest fountain. Before this, the record belonged to South Korea's Banpo Moonlight Rainbow Fountain. It had 38 water pumps that could shoot 43 meters horizontally. Back to the palm. Every day as the sun begins to drop, the neighborhood around the Palm Fountain begins to come alive with the excitement of visitors and tourists getting ready for the wittiest fountain display in the world. The fountain shakes to the preset moves. The audio system of the fountain is powered by 86 speakers that augment the fountain's dance floor. Every single person who comes to see is thrilled by the mesmerizing show, which goes on non-stop right until midnight each day. Being an international destination frequented by tourists from all parts of the globe, songs from all over the world are played here. If you want to get the most out of the live performance at the Palm Fountain, the ideal time to go is between the hours of sunset and midnight. During these hours, the fountain is at its most beautiful. On weekdays, the first act at the Palm Fountain starts at 7 p.m. and the last show starts at 11.30 p.m. On weekends, however, Shows are scheduled until 1 o'clock in the morning. To really appreciate the night sky, you need to wait until it's entirely dark. To some, the sight is so scenic that as soon as they get there, they grab their phone or video camera and start filming. The performances take place at regular intervals, one every half an hour, after which the next one follows. Each performance lasts around three minutes, and the only thing you need to do to see it is stroll to the Pont Promenade. And since this is a very special attraction, you might think you have to pay the fee. But unlike what you're used to in Dubai, you will not be required to pay anything at all. 
That means you're free to view the show at any time. All you have to do is walk to the Pont Dubai promenade and then enjoy the show. It's not hard to fathom that these fountains, like everything else, come with a hefty price tag. Besides this, the upkeep and maintenance of the Palm Fountain naturally cost a lot. But given that Dubai is consistently ranked as one of the wealthiest nations in the world, they are not reliant on this money. In fact, there are a lot of free Dubai attractions that, of course, attract visitors. And if you're wondering who was the brains behind the project, Beijing Water Design Technology, a company headquartered in China, was tasked for the planning, construction, and management of the Palm Fountain. The design team of the company contributed to creating a mystery on the Gulf of the Palm Islands in Dubai after winning the bid for the Palm Fountain. Since it was in the seawater environment, the engineering difficulty of building a musical fountain on such a large scale was unprecedented in the history of fountains, which challenged the team during the construction process. Fortunately, they were successful in solving all of the problems that came along the road, and for good reason, considering that the total cost of the project was close to $18 million. But all that money doesn't mean you only get dancing fountains. There are also amenities available around the Palm Fountain, such as cozy loungers, large floor space, and plenty of room to spread out and take in the performance at your own pace. Aside from this, the fascinating fountain display can also be seen from most of the upmarket restaurants and cafes located inside the Pont. Everyone, the young and old, has made it a point to stop by the Palm Fountain at least once since it has so much to offer. It is definitely worth a visit. In particular, if you're going to be staying in a hotel on the island, you should always make it a point to get a room that has a panoramic view of the fountain. The beachfront, the Pont Dubai, is very fascinating since it has a multitude of stores and restaurants where one can wind down the day. It has been done in a really stunning manner, and there is a good chance that it will leave you feeling extremely impressed. Taking a taxi to the Palm Fountain is the least complicated and most convenient method to get there. But Pont also has a parking space of 16,000 cars, and so you can drive your own car too. Dubai is one gem of a place which has proved that nothing is impossible for it as the city continues to surprise the world in every project. So, the fountain display at Palm Jumeirah is only the beginning. Simply keep an eye out for more spectacular Dubai goodies that are waiting for you along the road as you make your way across the city. Dubai already holds a string of world record titles, including the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, and the fastest police car in service, a Bugatti Veyron. And with the world's largest and highest fountain, the city can add yet another trophy to the collection. That should wrap things up for today. As always, take care, and we'll be seeing you in the next one.